Hi there, I'm Shelton Webb, and this is Glycon. Glycon is a motion capture platform that lets you use your VR headset to create incredible motion capture. Very quickly and easily, you just need a VR headset with hand controllers. In this case, I'm using the HTC Vive, so I have finger tracking. And you also might want to use, um, what do they call them, trackers. And if you look down in the corner over here, you'll see that I have two trackers set up. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up today. Before I begin, if you'll notice, my legs are twisted down here. There's a new feature in the next, next version, version 40, where you hold down two buttons at the same time on your hand controllers to reset your uh, pose, like this. There we go. And now we've got our pose reset. Um, what I'd like to do now is pull up my HUD. So I'm going to double tap on this uh, one button. It should be the grip if you're using an HTC Vive. If you're using the index controller, it's one of the two buttons on the top. Uh, hopefully we get that fixed soon. It's a misconfiguration in Steam, and I'm not sure why it happens. Okay, so we have our HUD pulled up, and what I want to show you is how to configure trackers. So we're going to go to the tracker menu here, and I'm going to, um, I want to see the trackers, so I'm going to move the cursor through the eyeball right here. And now I can see uh, the hand trackers, and I can also see, and I'm not sure if you can see it from your view, but from the VR camera view, you can kind of see the, uh, the, the lighthouse here. Um, and if you look down here, you can also see the foot trackers. If you'll notice, they're kind of in the ground over there, and you can, you can kind of see them off the sides of my feet. Well, what we want to do is be able to um, move these trackers so that they line up perfectly with my feet, and so that my feet I basically just want to calibrate this, and that's not an easy thing to do all the time. Uh, and I wanted to come up with a really simple way to do calibration, and that's what we have here. Let me show you what that looks like. So here is our tracker calibration menu. This is new in version 40, and in this case we want to calibrate the feet. So what I'm going to do is move my um, controller through the button for feet, and if you'll notice now when I move the HUD around, uh, and I think you can see this in the mirror mode, too. Uh, you'll notice that the feet move around directly underneath the heads-up display. Now, I want to put my feet directly in real life. I want to put them right over those feet. But as you'll notice, if I'm in VR mode, uh, so you can see what I see, um, you'll notice that I can't really see my feet because it's obscured by my body. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. To get around that, we're going to go into the um, IK settings and turn off the avatar visibility. And so now you can see in the third person, uh, in the mirror mode, and in third person mode, you can see my, my body, but I, as the VR person, cannot see my body. And that's what we're going to use in this particular case. So I'm going to move the HUD a little closer to me, and uh, I want to make sure that you can see this, um, but what I want to do is position this so that in the real world my feet are directly over the feet here. To make it less nauseating for you, I'm going to switch to mirror mode while I do this. Okay, so I see the footprints. I'm going to move my helmet, my, my, my headset up slightly and move my feet. Just looking through the nose part here, I want to move my feet so that they're exactly on top of that footprint. And I'm going to move the other one so it's exactly on top of the footprint. And we're good. And so now, you'll notice this little thing here. It says, place your feet on the blue markers, press this button is step two. Well, I'm going to press that button. And when I do that, you will notice that my feet over here are going to um, pop into the correct location. Oh boy, I should not have moved that. I did not mean to move that. Okay, I moved it back. Let me uh, readjust my feet. I get that as close as possible. There we go. And I'm hitting the blue, the green button now. And now my feet are configured. And that's all it takes. Now, the reason that I'm doing it this way and not with some kind of giant T-frame animation or uh, um, calibration is that you might want to calibrate your head, your elbows, your hands, your waist, your knees, or your feet uh, differently. And you might want to recalibrate them as as time goes on. You might say, okay, well, actually the knees aren't quite right. And rather than have an entire thing where you have to calibrate all of it at one time, this allows you to calibrate uh, the whole thing, uh, or calibrate parts of the thing, um, 
at a time, and that allows you to, in, uh, to basically get a better calibration for each of the parts. So that's all it takes to calibrate things in the new version of Lycon, which is version 40. Uh, and I will have a new version out soon uh, for everyone that has all these calibration systems in it. I need to do a few more tests, make sure that all of the different trackers work for all the different parts of the body and things like that. And then it's going to be sent out. Oh, by the way, these are the new digs. They're not, it's not completely finished yet. This is going to, over time, I'm going to continue to uh, improve on this. And in version probably 41, we're going to introduce a whole new slew of things that I've been working on for about a year that allow you to import your own props, scenes, and even avatars. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get back to work on this stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm all over the web. You can find me at glycon3d.com, get your own copy or a demo version today. And uh, this version, version 40, will go out to all the Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, uh, HTC Vive, um, Windows Mixed Reality, Steam VR, basically anyone that has a, a, a full headset, uh, commercial headset uh, system. You'll get this version probably in the next 24 to 48 hours as soon as I finish uh, all the calibration stuff. Uh, I can't wait to see your guys build with this, and please keep the feedback coming. That's uh, that's how I'm improving it, is based on what you what you need. Uh, let me know what you're using it, what you're using it for, um, any any special requests, and I'll make sure they get in there. Anything to help you make uh, motion capture easier using VR equipment. Thanks, and have a great day.